Hey guys, welcome back and in today's video, I am going to show you how to build a smart home automation system using Arduino Nano ESP32 and the Arduino IoT Cloud. In this tutorial, I will be giving you complete instructions including the circuit diagram, the codes and complete explanations and everything you need to get started with your own home automation system. So let's get started. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. First, let's take a quick look at the components. The main brain of our project is the Arduino Nano ESP32. It's a tiny board based on ESP32 chip, which gives us Wi-Fi and Bluetooth right out of the box. Along with the board, we'll be using some MOSFETs to act as switches, some LEDs for testing and troubleshooting, and of course, jumper wires and a breadboard to connect everything. If you want to control actual appliances, like a bulb or a fan, you can also add a relay module to set this up. Now, let's take a look at the circuit first. We are now in Altium PCB Designer. This is an amazing tool that we have been using to create simple PCBs for hobby projects as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. The thing is, it's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. And if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are really going to love it. An Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets us design, share, and manufacture our projects everything in one place. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. You can download this for free now and try this for your next project. The link for the trial version is in the description down below. Here, we have the Arduino Nano ESP32 which is the brain of our project. The voltage input is passed through a 7805 voltage regulator which converts a voltage between 7 to 32 volts to a steady 5 volt DC supply. This 5V is what we feed to Arduino. GPIO pins 8 and 9 are connected to MOSFETs which will act as a switch and turn on the device connected to it whenever we turn on the pin 8 or pin 9. And also, we can connect 4 GPIO pins of the Nano ESP32 to 4 devices which will be controlled by the system. To demonstrate this, I have connected them to LEDs so whenever I switch a device on from the cloud, the corresponding LED will light up. If you are using relays for AC loads, just make sure you follow proper safety precautions and isolate the low voltage circuit from your appliances. Basically, these are the main parts of the circuit. You can try this out on a breadboard and once it's working, you can use it as such or create your own PCBs. I always prefer PCBs for my projects as they are neat and stable. And one more thing guys, if you are really into electronics and robotics, make sure you check out our channel. You will find really useful stuff there. So if you don't want to miss more useful videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Okay guys, now first thing you need to do is go to Arduino Cloud and log into your account. And from there, you need to go to Things. A thing is basically a project. And for this project, I have created a thing called Home Automation. So if you open that, you should be able to see all the information regarding your project. If you are not familiar with Arduino IoT Cloud, make sure you check out our previous video where we explained everything you need to know about Arduino IoT Cloud and used Arduino Cloud to upload our first code to Arduino Board. On top, you should be able to see cloud variables. So these are the variables that we have declared and we are using for this project. And on the right side, you should be able to see associated device that is the Arduino board that is connected to this thing. And now for this project, as you already know, we are using Arduino Nano ESP32. Now one thing that we need to understand is all these variables are Boolean variables. That means this value can be either true or false. All right. Now we need to have some kind of an interface with which we'll be controlling these variables. In order to do that, we will be using a dashboard. In Arduino Cloud, we have a section called Dashboard where we can create our own dashboards for our project. For this project, I have created this particular dashboard that contains four different widgets. These are switch widgets and these variables will be linked to the variables that we saw earlier. For example, this light widget is now linked to device one of home automation thing. All right, now let's go back to the thing and let's take a look at the sketch that is the code for this project. This sketch is designed to connect an Arduino board, in our case the Nano ESP32, to the Arduino IoT Cloud so you can remotely control our devices. At the top, 
the variables device 1, device 2, device 3 and device 4 are automatically generated by the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. Each variable corresponds to a toggle switch in our cloud dashboard that we saw just now. In the setup function, the code initializes serial communication for debugging, sets pin 9, 8, 12 and 13 as output pins. These will be driving the LEDs, MOSFETs or the relays depending on your circuit and then connects the board to the Arduino IoT Cloud using Arduino Cloud.begin function. Debugging is enabled so that we can monitor the connection state in the serial monitor. The loop function simply calls Arduino Cloud.update, which keeps the device synchronized with the cloud. Whenever we change the state of a switch in our IoT dashboard, the cloud updates the linked variable, that is device 1 to device 4, and the corresponding functions on device change is triggered. Each of these functions checks if the variable is true, on, or false, off, and then sets the matching digital pin high or low. This switches the device on or off. In short, this code establishes a direct link between our IoT cloud dashboard and our physical device, allowing us to control them remotely in real time. So basically, that's the code. Now, once we have finished this, we can simply verify this choose the right board, upload it and connect our board and see how it performs. So that's it guys, if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel.